At the end of January in 2021, it was time to say goodbye to Pearson Park in Colchester and to move up the coast about 100 kilometers. This is the seventh stop on my travels and is in the small town of Port Alfred on the east coast of South Africa. I've checked in at the Medellino Caravan Park. I like this place right from the beginning. It has beautiful green stands with lots of shade and I pulled in at the top of the park just in case there were any heavy rains. My side's at the top of the hill so the water will flow downwards so I should stay quite dry in any heavy rain situation. The atmosphere at the park is relaxed and genteel with everything seeming to get on well. There's a great variety of birds in the area, including the nice Naluri and a large family of geese which live in the park. There are also troops of vivid monkeys that come through the park occasionally and they are very entertaining to watch. Medellino Caravan Park is pet friendly so you can take your dog or your cat along with you. The grounds are beautiful and very well kept with a huge lawned area in the center leading down to a large pond that is home to the family of geese and some waterfowl and other water dwelling creatures. There's no swimming pool at Medellino. Medellino has 26 grassed campsites, many of which are sectioned off with hedges, shrubs and trees providing shade and sunlit sites as you require. The hedges and trees between the sites also provide excellent privacy. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video. There's plenty of shaded parking in the caravan park. Each site has electricity and water and a portable briar supplied on request. Most of the sites are large enough to house a big caravan, as well as a tent and an adder room if you're staying a little longer. The toilets and bathroom are older in style, but are well looked after and are clean, with large showers and hot and cold water. Toilet paper is supplied and I'm pleased to say it's the thicker, better quality paper. There are also two separate family bathrooms, with a bath and showers in each. A scullery containing four basins with hot and cold water is available to do the washing up. There's a very bad drought in the area and the local municipality is not able to provide water to the town regularly. The water is just switched off for days on end, so drinking water is supplied in two tanks for campers in the park to use. I was very pleased to find that, due to the drought, there were almost no mosquitoes in February, which surprised me and apart from a small green snake which is harmless and is seen very occasionally, no one has seen a venomous snake in the park for the past 20 years. Cell phone reception is excellent as the park is so close to the town. So I was able to connect my phone as a hotspot and watch videos and sports events in the caravan on my laptop. I found the caravan park to be quite safe. You got a remote control for a sliding entrance gate on payment of a 200 rand deposit when you arrived and I felt quite secure there but there were two robberies while I was there. Both times cell phones disappeared in the middle of the night. I used to put my cell phones and laptop away at night and didn't flash them around during the day. I didn't have any problems but we were all on the lookout for the crook watching day and night which was quite exciting. There are also a number of wooden chalets for rent in the park. Looking at the surrounding area, the Kawi River runs through the center of the town and down to the sea, where long sandy beaches stretch for miles in each direction. Both the river and the sea will provide hours of fun and pleasure. There's very good boating, skiing and fishing down on the river, which is tidal. On the west bank of the river, there's a section of grass between the river and the houses that the public can walk along. This is great public planning from many years ago that gives everyone access to the river. I started chatting to Dudley Keezer when I first arrived here and he gave me permission to use his dock for my speedboat. I found this attitude to be quite common in the area, generally finding nice, friendly people in 2021. I mention the year because it may be different in 2030. The river also offers excellent canoeing and has some basic picnicking spots. 
There are three boat launching ramps, two of which are free. I launched just past the main bridge at the slipway next to the tourist office in town. There are plenty of shops about two kilometers from Medellino, with a pick and pay and a spa providing all of the food that you'll need. There is a Woolworths further up on the hill. The local pick and pay makes excellent breads and rolls, which I enjoyed every day at lunchtime making sandwiches. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay at Medellino and extended my month-long stay to two months as I had to drive back to Ladysmith to do some filming for Ladysmith Cheese on how they make their cheeses and butter. The rates in 2021 are 2,800 Rand a month. That's about $200 a month out of season, which is very reasonable and includes water and electricity, so incredibly inexpensive. Whether you're boating, hiking, or just flying a kite on the beach or going for an ice cream, the atmosphere here is very relaxing and very friendly, and it's a great place to spend some time. I give Medellino Caravan Park a rating of 7 out of 10. If you've stayed at Medellino, tell us about your experiences in the comments section below, and give us your rating of the park so that we can get a fair, average rating in a year or so. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.